Defense spending is going down. There isn't more money for new aircraft. We can't just go to a store and buy some more. We have what we have. We have to start today really looking at better ways to do this thing we call aviation maintenance. We've got to keep track of and take care of uh, the aircraft that we have. Otherwise, the fleet won't get them. With the legacy Hornets, nearly half of those aircraft are out of reporting. Now, what does that mean? That means they're in my FRCs waiting to get worked or out on the flight line waiting to get fixed by somebody other than a fleet maintainer. F-18 Legacy Hornets were originally designed for 6,000 flight hours. There are now less than 100 Legacy Hornets with less than 6,000. So now that fleet is going to 8,000 and we have to extend them beyond 8,000 up to 9,000 and 10,000 hours. What that means to us on the Fleet Readiness Center side is when those aircraft come in, they're in conditions, material conditions, far worse than we had planned for. Um, that's not due to anybody's fault. They're old, they're flown hard, and now we have to use all the aspects of nav air, engineers, logisticians, material supply piece to be able to fix that problem. To be able to do everything in-house, to have an engineering team that's right there, to have supply right there, to have the artisans right there, really speeds up the process. Probably the biggest challenge is that when I talked about the fact that they're older than 6,000 and we didn't plan for it, many, many of these parts and material pieces were never intended to be replaced. Additive manufacturing is playing huge in keeping that fleet up because we can speed that process along. Whether it's an actual part that goes in an aircraft or a support piece when it comes to fixing an aircraft, I can perhaps 3D print that part, get it right back to the line, and be able to keep that process moving. If you take a couple of years ago with the furloughs that we had, with sequestration where we weren't sure what our budget was going to be, the FRC is a, is a giant engine. We slowed it down, and now we're having to pick it back up to produce those aircraft that the fleet need to get out of this position of having half out of reporting, reducing that number and getting shadows back on the ramp. The way we're speeding it through now is a thing called critical chain project management. The whole idea is you focus on a small set of aircraft that you can work today get those aircraft through the system, and then bring the next aircraft in. And that's what, that's what excites me about this whole thing, is, is we're seeing results today.